The newly formed Arab coalition, along with elements of the Russian military, are massing their troops against Israel on their northern he flank. He killed in Iraq earlier this month. The reactor and the enrichment facility. Protesters the carrying time. signs with the world nations refusal to halt its nuclear pursuits is certainly not off the table. Let me tell you something, brethren. He's coming like a thief in the night, and you don't have anything to worry about because we will be gone. It's time to change your mind. The sun has come back and you never left behind. No. Because I have it. I have it from authority on high that you're not going to be there. You're going to be snatched out. He's coming like a thief in the night. You won't have to worry because, praise God, will be gone. It will be a silent event. All of a sudden, Christians everywhere will be gone. Cars will careen out of control. It's coming a time of trouble that this world has never seen. But every Christian, every child will be spending eternity in heaven at the marriage supper of the Lamb. You're not from around here, are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, buddy. You're right, I'm not from here. I don't want any trouble, man. I'm just passing through. Are you going to Greensboro? Because if you are, they're shooting anybody that tries to get past the checkpoints. Um, Greensboro doesn't exist anymore. I should know. I used to live there back in 27. Yeah, I know. I was just testing you. Yeah. The flames burned for six months. Nothing purifies quite like fire. You seem, um, familiar. Didn't I know you back in the real times? You got any oranges? Beamer rations? I really could use some vitamin C. Yeah, I just walked all the way here from Kansas. Yeah, there's not a tree, let alone an orange. Okay? You know what? I just need to go. Alright? I'm just hoping to find my daughter. Okay? Hey, stranger! Any news? I was just thinking, you know, you might know something. I, I know something. I haven't had any bullets for about four months now. So, John, how did you end up in this junkyard? Well, Steve, you see that caddy right over there? I drove it here thinking I might find some gas in the bottom of these old junkers. And it gave it up right there. That was over two years ago. Since then, I discovered that a lot of the wildlife like to live in these vehicles, so I've been here ever since. What about yourself? That was a long walk from Kansas. Yeah, 
Indeed. I, uh, I lost my wife during the Holocaust. And uh, I went out there to try to find some food for my uh, parents and my daughter. I heard they, uh, I heard they had crops out there. Now I've lost them, I can't find them. So, what'd you do before? In the real days, as you so quaintly put it, I sold tires. I had a family, wife and kids. All that's gone now. Anyway, I sold tires. Not much call for that these days. Yeah, I feel your pain. The last I heard, the death toll was almost two billion. That's with a B. Well, It won't be long now. For what? You know, I'm still trying to place you. You didn't do any commercials while you were selling tires, did you? Hey, you want some beans? It's left over from the FEMA run. Thanks. Wow, I can't believe you actually have a can. You said earlier that it wouldn't be long now. What exactly did that mean? Hey, uh, I noticed you're not registered. That must be hard, living off the charity of others. Yeah, when I was a kid, I heard the bad things happen to people like that. <laughs> In fact, it seems like I remember that people also said that it wasn't going to be as bad as this either. The stuff I used to believe. You know what? You still haven't answered my question. You know, the four horsemen. The trumpets. The bowls, vials. It should put us right about in the fifth seal. John Holland. <laughs> You're John Holland? You know, the beard was giving me a little... You used to weigh 350 pounds. <laughs> the Reverend John Holland! Tires, huh? You know, you used to preach to thousands of people in your church every Sunday on TV. You had a worldwide audience. Well, how the mighty have fallen. You know, I seem to remember something called the rapture. So, Reverend, what about that? Where's the rapture now? The word rapture isn't even in the Bible. It's actually called the gathering. And I weigh 330 pounds, thank you very much. It's called the tribulation diet. I don't recommend it. Anyway, I did sell tires. That was a long time ago. I just, I just changed what I was selling. What? False dreams, hopes, religion? You know, it might have been a good idea to let us all in on that fact. You could have saved us a lot of grief. Steve, don't go. Why? It's not safe. No, I mean, why did you lie to everybody? <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have known. Now that I think about it, it all sounds just a little too good to be true, doesn't it? <laughs> Raptured out first, then there's seven years of tribulation, and then a second, second coming. It don't add up, does it, preacher? <laughs> so when will it happen? 
Any more lies you want to tell me before I go? You don't know. You don't know what it's like to have a mother stare you in the face and tell you that she has to take the mark just to feed her kids. And that if that's what it takes to feed her children, that she could never serve a God like that. You don't know. You can't judge me. It looks like everybody got left behind, preacher. I just told them what they wanted to hear. <laughs> So when then? When are you going to tell the truth this time? Matthew 24. Let no man deceive you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who exactly are we talking about? Famines. Earthquakes. You know what? We've always had those things. These are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning. They'll betray one another. But the, he that endures to the end. The end of what? He'll be saved. You said we'd be out of here by now. The gospel will be preached to the entire world. What gospel? Whose gospel? Woe well, unto them that are with child. But then shall be great tribulation. <laughs> you convinced me. If you hadn't convinced me, maybe my wife, my family. You know what? You're pathetic. And and they shall gather together God's elect from the four winds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. <laughs> now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, which happens first then by our gathering together unto him which happens next that ye not be soon shaken in mind or troubled neither by spirit or word or letter from us that the day of christ is at hand let no man deceive you by any means for that day will not come except there come a falling away first that doctrine that's so prevalent in these last days of an early rapture. I know you were told that you will be out of here before the Antichrist comes, but the Bible says he will not come until that man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition.